So, there's day two. It's raining. Everything's starting to get rusty already. All my cuts and grinds. So, it's kind of a wet day today. So, these are going to be my wheels. And, yeah, pretty beefy. <clears throat> I think they're off a cement mixer or something like that. They look pretty cool. And I'm gonna cut this. I'll make a cut here and here and here and here, wherever it lines up. And those angles will go this way and then that way. So they'll fit inside. And then they'll just bolt through. I'm not sure if I'm gonna bolt it through the sides two bolts in the sides or something like that probably be good enough and I just gotta put an axle it's gonna be hard no suspension on it so I might even use one of these tubes here for the axle probably be enough and then some square tube we'll go up and then touch on the angles I don't know pretty straightforward I think so what I gotta do today is clean up these <coughs> this weld zone here I don't think I'm gonna cut that off I think I'm just gonna grind this smooth as best I can and try and fit those pieces on top of that and then give it a quick weld and that should be good enough and yeah because I do have to finish this back side here my welder isn't reaching over that far and it's getting heavier to move back and forth now and I'll probably take this guy off the track and put set it on some wood so I can continue to work on that and I'll try and move this thing out of the way. And I guess it could be painted. You know, there's not much more welding to do on it. Just a couple spots where the posts are going to be. And, yeah, that's about it, really. The pieces that I'm going to put inside there, like for my dog log dogs or whatever those will be bolt on so i just gotta drill a couple holes yeah pretty much cutting that big piece is my worst of my day here anyways thanks guys so to me this one looks the straightest so i'm gonna start with that one and then i'll make this one you can see it's kind of leaning so i'll start with this one Get it all nice and tacked, make sure it looks good. The measurements are nice, you know, maybe put a square on it, make sure it's kind of squarish. And this doesn't have to be perfect, you know, like I'm not taking it on the road, it's just for kind of moving around the property. And you know, maybe if a neighbor needs something done, I'll we'll have the option to wheel it down the road too, but we'll see. Probably not. And I'm gonna have the wheels off most of the time because uh, I'm gonna actually put it on some posts. And I want it fairly low to the ground when I'm cutting logs so I don't have to fight logs up onto, onto the deck of it. So, yeah, I've had these wheels for years. I've just been meaning to do something with them. And it's either this or I got an old four wheeler back there. I was going to hack the front wheels off of it and the axles and use that for the same thing, but this is good enough. Honestly, it's not that heavy. I, I can lift one end, so it's only a couple hundred pounds total, maybe 300 pounds in metal. What I got so far might be 500 pounds, 600 pounds total. 
And I won't be, like I said, I won't be using the wheels on there when I start uh, milling stuff. I'm going to take it off the wheels and at least put it on the ground or put it on some 4x4s or something. Because you will need to get it kind of level. I'm not going to put all the leveling stuff on there or nothing like that. I want it to be kind of stationary, so... Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. And for how quick this is going, like we're on day two and <laughs> it's going pretty quick. But I do want the wheels on there so I can move this thing around. I don't need the tongue on it yet, but I do want the wheels on. So I got to weld the back up still here. So what I'm going to do is wheel it and turn it and then I'll bring the back this way and have this thing sitting this way instead. Then I can, uh, yeah, finish welding the track and grind it all up nice. And then I'll put a coat of paint on it, at least on the top. Which probably won't be today because we're expecting thunderstorms and rain showers. So, now, the ID of this tube is a little bit bigger than the OD of this so I'm thinking of might try and space it a bit put something in there probably just need a 1 8 shim a piece of welding rod might be good enough anyway just do one at a time honestly I probably don't even need to do nothing for what it is I can just fill the gap down here weld it up I knew there was a good reason to keep this stuff around. They're actually pretty cool tires. Fifteen inch chrome rims. What? He's got chrome rims on there, so no. Do need some work. It was like I said, this came off a cement mixer, so there's lots of cement on there still. Lots of garbage. They've been sitting for. Fuck seven years I've had these for they've been following me around all my houses and all the places I've been staying anyways guys I'm gonna weld this up thanks old tractor helps me out all the time here now here's almost impossible to lift that end up and put a piece of wood under it so the tractor is the way to go and that's where it's gonna go it's all tacked flat not bad for gaps not totally perfect but whatever close enough for me and because it's so far spaced out there I'm thinking I'm gonna put a piece of something in there a square tube or a piece of angle something just to Space it a bit. I'll keep it a little bit further out so I can put it in there a little easier. Mm. Other than that, I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to flip the track and then drill holes. So once I flip the track, uh, and drill the holes, I'll probably just place the wheels on there and drill the holes right through everything and bolt it up. I do need to finish this. The farthest I made it was here for the tax. So I do got to do down here still. It's just loose right now. Got some dirty. Yeah, pretty good so far. Probably could take the tractor out of here now and move it around. And I probably could flip it already. Just I'd like to really do the that side of the track before I get flipping it around too much. Really don't want to bend this. I actually made a point to uh, ask the metal people to make sure this came in perfectly straight because I can't have any bends in it. So 
but it's a clamped right now. I'm sure I could maybe put a couple extra clamps on there. And figure out. Oh, I probably could move it right now. These angles are only tacked, so. And we are centered and we're at 11 inches pretty much roughly where it's going to line up. So we'll see how it goes here. Debating whether I want to try to uh, take that tractor out of there yet or not. Should be much easier to lift now. Anyways, thanks guys. I got this guy done here. Well, still needs to be mounted on there. And the holes need to be drilled, that's why it's upside down. So I can uh, put this on upside down, drill the holes, take it all apart, mark which way is the front, and then, uh, yeah, uh, these would be the wheels for transporting it. They just bolt on, four bolts. Nice and easy to get. Be on the outside lip so you don't have to go in behind or anything. Good enough. Figures it started raining harder. It's been kind of raining off and on all day. But now it's kind of too much to even do anything out there. It gets soaked. Anyways, thanks guys. So it's quite a bit easier. To move now. It's starting to rain again, so I don't want to go out there. That's how it is. I only had three bolts out of the four that's supposed to be in the wheels, but I did tighten it up. Makes it much easier to move. Pretty cool tires. Almost look like a dragster I'm making here. Yeah, it's nice. And then I'll figure out a way to mount the carriage on this section as well so it's all right on the axle should be balanced well just a little bit of tongue weight and forget if I showed you that I got that thing apart so come up with a new design for this it's actually inside but so what I'm gonna do this will be on here and the bottom I'm gonna match the bottom of that to the bottom here so I can't go past the bottom dead center and I'll put a 12 inch so the top bar will go across here but only up to here I'll make a big U that welds onto this plate here out of the 2 inch and then it'll come up to where the blade top is and then go this way and then back down all in the front and then i'll make from this point here the top one will be up here but from here i'll go out and that will be similar to where this top edge on this thing is going to go and then i'm going to replace this this bolt here with one that's out past and I'll put a proper size crank on it so I can get extra leverage more than this. I'm not sure how heavy I got to run it either, but here's somewhere around 20 to 25 pounds, something, whatever. You can see there's some play in there, so I'm gonna do some shimming as well. I don't want any play. So I think I can go about a sixteenth all the way around. And I only need a one inch strip on each side. I might just fold it in on a tab so then it can be changed maybe in the future. 
Not 100% sure yet. I think I might just put tabs so you can screw. And then maybe eventually I'll get some kind of Teflon or some kind of sheeting that will take the metal place which might be nicer for slippage I'll do four tabs on each side on the bottom two and then I can go and I'll put stoppers and wherever maybe a stopper down there after I do those welds we'll stop say there I don't know I'll figure it out maybe I'll just have it go right to the bottom stopper would make it better so right now I'm thinking I want to do this piece will come up here so it'll be 12 inches long as well so it'll I'm gonna 45 it so it goes up like that and then up like almost like a mountain bike shock and this is the forks and then you got the mountain bike uh, thing there on the top whatever Anyways, thanks guys. So, another day of rain. Coming down pretty good. So, this is how I'm gonna do it here. And, so I'll have a couple bars coming out this way to hold the well, on one side I might not need anything. And then the other side will have that bracket there that needs to be mounted. And this side may just have the motor. I'll put a couple tubes coming out of this. And enough, far enough out that it will clear this. And then the motor will be in here. And then I'll have another drive wheel. And then I may have something come out to hold bearings. Not 100% sure if I'm gonna use, well, pretty sure I'm gonna go chain drive. And I'm gonna try and get a rocket as big as that. At least maybe bigger if I can. But not so it's in the way, so. And then that whole unit will come up down then I will be able to get it right up to here and the motor will be on top but over here I'll have the controls and the crank over here so I don't know and yeah, probably I'll come up with another push design as well some kind of bar maybe the one inch bar It'll be my pushing frame and my control panel yeah, we'll see. Still working it all out. I also might have the measuring tape on here. With just like a pointer. With that I can set the measurement to. We'll see. Yeah, leave it at that for today. Because I don't really know how it's going to be at the end, but I kind of know what I need to put in there, so then I got to check the availability of the rest of the parts I need, and I'm going to have to cut a bunch of strips of 16th metal that will get welded onto here on each side, and then that will make that snug. Then I'll be able to weld that bar onto these things once they're tight. But until then, I can work on this thing on the ground and just kind of hold it up to see where I need everything. But I know I want the blades of the wheels, like the top of the wheel of the blade, is going to come across here. And then I'll have another uh, idle wheel there for the blade bearing, whatever. And then on the bottom, I'll 
be able to put an idler wheel that holds the blade from here. And then I'll have an adjustable one. I don't know, one of the sides will be, the drive side will be solid with the idler on the bottom and then this one will be adjustable from the bottom. It'll just be like a rod that goes in and out. Anyway, it's coming. Just waiting for the rain to stop. We're supposed to get days of this, so probably be doing most of this stuff in here. Anyways, thanks guys. Stay tuned for more videos. Lots to come. Can't wait to test this puppy out. Thanks guys.